When we stand here by the Mississippi River, it's a beautiful river to us, but it's also something that's dedicated to flood control, municipal water supply, it's discharge zones, it's navigation channels. None of those things change or go away just because we have new needs for this river. And that's where law and policy actually you know, come into play. New science won't create new possibilities. You know, see if we can get them some guidance about just whose job is it to maintain the banks on navigation channels. The reason I came to law school was because I, I did want to make a difference in these issues because uh, I had seen enough problems in the environment and problems with water specifically in my life that I felt like uh, I wanted to be better equipped to to help those, those issues. And, and I think that's something that the water, the water Institute has done for me. Students are actually essential to the work the Institute does, not only as research assistants to help us do the basic research, but also to help with the community and uh, you know, civic organizations that we work with. Because it's not our job just to do interesting work, it's, it's to serve. Most law schools do an excellent job of basic legal education, teaching you a little bit about how to you know, handle a case you know, through a litigation clinic. But this is a wonderful laboratory for students to be able to apply not just law as it is, but help inform law as it's created and to understand the fundamental relationship between good stewardship, good civic planning, and law and policy. Water has been called the new oil by many people. And that's not just a slogan. Water is going to be, in many ways, the defining resource for energy policy, environmental stewardship, and economic development. It's no way that we're going to get out of you know, the situations we're in without a firmer understanding of the importance of water and the development of new laws and policies for managing it.